In the room of a small boy named Christopher Robin, there were some remarkable toys. There was timid little Piglet, gloomy old Eeyore, bouncy Kanga, and little Roo. But the most remarkable of all was a bear called Winnie the Pooh. Now, all of these remarkable animals lived in an enchanted place called the Hundred Acre Wood. And this is where our story begins. On this blustery day, Pooh decided to visit his thoughtful spot. And on the way there, he made up a little hum, and it went something like this. Hum, hum, dum 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 Oh, the wind is lashing lustily, and the trees are thrashing thrustily, and the leaves are rustling gustily, so it's rather safe to say that it seems that it may turn out to be fields, that it will undoubtedly look like a rather blustery day today. It seems that it may turn out to be fields, that it will undoubtedly look like a rather blustery day. Oh, I know today is Wednesday, and this is how I know. It is always on a Wednesday that the winds begin to blow. Oh, the wind is lashing lustily, and the trees are thrashing thrustily, and the leaves are rustling gustily, so it is rather safe to say that it seems that it may turn out to be fields, that it will undoubtedly look like a rather blustery day today. It seems that it may turn out to be fields, that it will undoubtedly look like a rather blustery day. The end, everybody inside. Fortunately, Pooh's thoughtful spot was in a sheltered place, and now he sat down and tried very hard to think of something. Since Pooh was a bear with a very little brain, whenever he thought, he thought in the most thoughtful way he could think. What's wrong, Sonny? Got a headache? No, I was just thinking. But what about? I... Oh, bother, you made me forget. If I were you, I would think about getting out of here. Why? Because it's Wednesday. It is? Oh, then I think I shall wish everyone a happy Wednesday. And I will begin with my dear friend Piglet. Now, Piglet's house was in another part of the forest. It was a very grand house in the middle of a beech tree. And Piglet loved it very much because it had belonged to his grandfather, Trespasser Will, which was short for Trespassers William. Well, although Piglet was timid, he was also very tidy, and this blustery day was giving him a bit of a bother. Oh, dear. This wind is a very unfriendly wind. Just look at my front yard. I don't mind the leaves that are leaving. It's the leaves that are coming. Help! Help somebody save me! Oh, Pooh, am I glad to see you. Yeah. Happy Wednesday, Piglet. It isn't very happy for me. Where are you going, Piglet? That is what I ask myself. Where? And what do you think you will answer yourself? Uh, I shall have to wait until I get there, I guess. Here, yeah. <laughs> give me your hand. Pooh, I am unraveling. And you know it was true? For instead of catching Piglet's hand, all Pooh caught was the arm of Piglet's sweater. And as the wind swept Piglet up into the sky, the sweater unraveled until Piglet was flying high over the country like a kite. First he blew over Kanger and Roo, and Roo wanted next time to fly Piglet. Eeyore's house and Rabbit's rutabaga patch were devastated by the flying Piglet and the dragging poo. Then, with the lustiest, blustiest blast of all, Piglet and Pooh were blown right up into a tree right up to Owl's house. Today's weather report called off on account of bad weather. Yeah, boss. Oh, incredible. Someone's pasted Piglet on my window. Well, well, I see you've taken to flight. I wasn't aware that Piglets had the necessary dorsal muscles for aerobatics. I don't. Happy Wednesday, Owl. Wednesday? 
Ho, ho, my good fellow. This is only a gentle spring zephyr compared to the big wind of 67... Uh, or was it 76? Well, no matter. You're not listening. I was just looking, and I was just wondering, is there honey in that box? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Uh, help yourself. Oh, thank you. You know, as I was saying, I remember the big blow well. It was the same year my Aunt Clara went to visit her cousin, a oh. screech owl, who sang soprano in the London Opera. Her constant practicing so unnerved my aunt that she laid a seagull egg by mistake. Well, well, well. Lick the platter clean, so to speak. Did you do that? I don't think so. Owl's floor was slowly trying to see what it would look like as a wall. And the wall was trying to be a ceiling, and the tree roots were trying to be branches. Suffers, suffers. You better shingle that shack, Sonny. She's gonna rain like six to come nightfall. I'm going somewhere and dig me a high hole. <laughs> Howell's friends soon gathered at the scene of his misfortune, and no one seemed to know what to do, except Eeyore. If you ask me, and nobody has, I say when a house looks like that, it's time to find another one. That's a very good idea, Eeyore. A thankless job, but I'll find a new one for him. Might take a day or two. Good. That will just give me time to tell you about my Uncle Clyde, a very independent barn owl. Didn't give a hoot for tradition. Yes. Uh, he became enamored of a pussycat and went to see a beautiful pea-green boat. Uh, but that's another story. Finally, the blustery day turned into a blustery night. And to Pooh it was a very anxious sort of night. And all around his house he heard anxious sorts of noises. And one of the noises was a sound that he never had heard before. Now, Pooh, being a bear with a very little brain, did a very brave thing. He decided to invite the new sound in. He Hello out there. Oh, I hope nobody answers. Hello, I'm Tigger. Oh, you scared me. Sure I did. Everyone's scared of Tiggers. Who are you? I'm Pooh. What's a Pooh? You're sitting on one. Glad to meet you. I'm new around here. Name's Tigger. I I double T I double gear. That spells Tigger. <laughs> what is a Tigger? Glad you brought that up, chum. <laughs> The wonderful thing about Tiggers is Tiggers are wonderful things. Their tops are made out of rubber. Their bottoms are made out of springs. They're bouncy, trouncy, bouncy, bouncy, fun, 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 fun. But the most wonderful thing about Tiggers is I'm the only one. The wonderful thing about Tiggers is Tiggers are wonderful chaps. They're loaded with vim and with vigor. They love to leave in your laps. They're jumpy, bumpy, clumpy, thumpy, fun, 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 fun. But the most wonderful thing about Tiggers is I'm the only one. Tiggers are cuddly fellows. Tiggers are awfully sweet. Everyone else is jealous. That's why I repeat and repeat. The wonderful thing about Tiggers is Tiggers are wonderful things. Their tops are made out of rubber. Their bottoms are made out of springs. They're bouncy, trouncy, flouncy, pouncy, fun, 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 fun. But the most wonderful thing about Tiggers is I'm the only one. Oh, I'm the only one. In exploring Pooh's house, Tigger discovered a mirror. Now, Tigger had never seen himself in a mirror, and he did not think much of what he saw. Oh, I say, that's the silliest thing I ever saw. Look at those beady little eyes, and that preposterous chin, and those ridiculous striped pajamas. Well, it looks just like another Tigger to me. Oh, no, it's not. 
I'm the only Tigger. Watch me scare the stripes off the imposter. Is he gone? All except the tail. Tigger. Tigger, where are you? Hello, I'm Tigger. You said that. Did I say I was hungry? I don't think so. Then I'll say it. I'm hungry. Not for honey, I hope. Yeah. Tiggers don't like honey. But you said... That icky, sticky stuff is only fit for heffalumps and woozles. You mean elephants and weasels. That's what I said. Heffalumps and woozles. Yeah, but see, what the hell... Well, uh, uh, what does what you said, what do they do? Oh, nothing much. Just steal honey. Steal honey? That's right. Well, I better be bouncing along. Cheerio, chum. Oh, the wonderful thing about Tiggers is Tiggers are wonderful chaps. They're loaded with women with vigor. They love to leave in your laps. They're jumpy, bumpy, comfy, bumpy, fun, 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 fun. But the most wonderful thing about Tiggers is I'm the only one. Tiggers are cuddly fellows. Tiggers are awfully sweet. Everyone else is jealous. That's why I repeat and repeat. The wonderful thing about Tiggers is Tiggers are wonderful things. Their tops are made out of rubber. Their bottoms are made out of springs. They're bouncy, 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 fun, 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 fun. fun. But the most wonderful thing about Tiggers is I'm the only one. Oh, I'm the only one. Well, if what Tigger said was true, and there really were heffalumps and woozles about, there was only one thing to do. Take drastic precautions. Sit up and keep awake all night. So Pooh did. But the very blustery night turned into a very rainy night. And Pooh kept his vigil hour after hour after hour, until at last Pooh fell fast asleep. And he began to dream. Naturally, he dreamed of heffalumps and woozles. Finally, Pooh was awakened by a loud clap of thunder. Is it raining in there? It's raining in here, too. As a matter of fact, it was raining all over the Hundred Acre Wood. It was a bit of a cloudburst, and it rained, and it rained, and it rained. flood, and it was wet enough for those who lived above ground, but it was even wetter for those who lived below ground. And just as the flood reached its very floodiest, Kanga and little Rue escaped in Rue's bathtub. Rue? Rue, where are you? Here I am. Hello, I'm Tigger. Oh, Tigger, do you know how to pull a boat? Well, that's what Tiggers do best. Uh, here, Tigger, I'll help you. Give me your paw. Now, Christopher Robin lived at the very top of the Hundred Acre Wood, and the water couldn't come up to his house, so that's where everyone gathered. It was a time of great excitement, but in the midst of it all, Eeyore stubbornly stuck to his task, house hunting. 
Suddenly, little Rue made an important discovery. Look! I've rescued a bottle. It's a bottle, and it's got something in it. It's a message, and it says, Help! Piglet! Me! Oh, let's go! Owl, you fly over to Piglet's house and tell him as soon as we think of a way, we will make a rescue. Oh, that's very Rescue? Good. Oh, that reminds me of oh, my cousin no, Clarence, no. who lived in a lighthouse and suffered from insomnia. Uh, please, Owl, do hurry. Oh, no. uh, right Righto. So, Owl flew over the flood and soon spotted two tiny objects below. One was little Piglet caught in a whirlpool, and the other was Pooh, trying to get the very last bit of honey from a pot. Oh, Owl, I'm so frightened. Oh, chin up. And all that sort of thing. A rescue is being thought of. Be brave, little piglet. It's awfully hard to be brave when you are such a small animal. Well, then, to divert your little mind from your unfortunate predicament, I shall tell you an amusing anecdote. It concerns a distant cousin of mine who became so frightened during the flood. I I think we're coming to a waterfall. Please, no interruptions, if you don't mind. As I was saying, he became so worried that he turned prematurely gray and was often mistaken for an arctic snow owl. I say no one seems to be listening. Hello. I mean, look. There's Pooh. Over here, Pooh. Hello, Christopher Robin. Pooh, have you seen Piglet? I have. Uh, what I mean is, here I am. Pooh, you rescued Piglet. I did? Yes, and it was a very brave thing to do. It was? You are a hero. I am? And as soon as the flood is over, I shall give you a hero party. And good is his word, when the rain stopped and the sunshine started... Christopher gave a hero party. <laughs> well, wait, wait, wait. Very good. Attention, everyone. Wait, 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 please. Now, this party is a hero party. Oh, good. Yeah. Because, because of what someone did. And that someone is... Hmm. I found it. Found what? A house for Owl. I say, good show. That's wonderful, Eeyore. Oh, where is it? If you want to follow me, and no one ever does, I'll show it to you. So everyone followed Eeyore. Then, to the surprise of all, Eeyore stopped right in front of... The Piglet's house. <laughs> Why are you stopping here, Eeyore? Because this is it. Owl's new house. Well... Your, uh, oh, dear, mercy me. Oh, dear, me too. Name is on it and everything. W-O-L. That spells owl. Bless my soul, so it does. Well, what do you think of it? It is a nice house, but... It's pretty, but... Uh, it's a lovely house, but... It's the best house in the whole world, but... But this house belongs you're to... You're absolutely right. This house does belong to our very good friend, Owl. But where would you live, Piglet? I guess I shall live... I, I suppose I shall you live... You shall live with me, won't you, Piglet? Oh, thank you, Pooh. Piglet, that was a very grand thing to do. The heroic thing to do. Christopher Robin, could you make my hero party into a two-hero party? Of course we can, silly old bear. And so the one hero party became a two-hero party. Pooh was a hero for saving Piglet, and Piglet was a hero for giving Owl his grand home in the beech tree. <laughs> We never will forget our hero of the wet, a quick thinking and sinking poo bear. And Piglet, who indeed helped out a friend in need, truly they're the heroes of the day. So we say hip, hip, hooray for the Piglet and the poo. Piglet and poo, we salute you for deeds of bravery and generosity. 
your house too, Piglet, forever and ever. Oh, Pooh, I think you are the best bear in all the world. So do I. Deep in the hundred acre wood where Christopher Robin plays you'll find the enchanted neighborhood of Christopher's child. A donkey named 